hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel today i will show you how to perform hiv test there are three methods for hiv procedure number one comb aids test number two standard kit test and number three trade row method first of all i will show you today the comb aids method so first of all, I am HIV test called Coombs H test method. Coombs H. So here I am going to use blood sample. A blood sample to use centrifuge. This is our centrifuge machine. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, I am going to use centrifuge. I am going to use the serum. Because I am going to use HIV test called Coombs H test. I am going to use the serum. तो ये तो ब्लड सैंपल तो आम सेंट्रिफ्यूज मेसिन सदा यूज करते चाह लगे बेलेन्स तो मिला लगे आफ्टर कलेक्टेड द ब्लड फ्रॉम पेशेंट वी हैव टू स्टोर द ब्लड एट क्लोड फायल and centrifuge for 10 minutes at 3000 rpm speed ok now only one minute left for complete centrifuge Okay, now centrifuge is completed and we have to switch off the centrifuge machine. Now the centrifuge process is completed and you can see the serum and keep the file on the rack. Now look at this. This is like a stick. We have to write the PID number on this stick at the end we can see the final result in the stick so now here in the stick I write the patient's PID number and please watch the video till end these are known as well I get a well and this is the two reagent number one sample diluent reagent and number two signaled reagent this is sample reagent two, two drops of sample reagent on the well and now after add two drops of sample diluent and we have to put now two to three drops of serum onto the well and shake properly now with the help of comb stick mix the blood serum and sample diluent properly and put the stick on the well wait for 15 minutes after 15 minutes wash the stick with the help of buffer solution and dry the stick Now this is signal reagent sample. We have to put signal reagent sample in another well separately. And we have to fill up the well properly by signal reagent. One important thing is in every laboratory procedure we have to wear properly masks and gloves. On another well we have to put the dry stick on the signal reagent well and wait for 15 minutes after 15 minutes again wash the stick in wash buffer and keep to dry now finally we can see the result we can see here dot and now finally we can see the result one dot means non-reactive means negative and 
if two dot that it means positive so our result is non-reactive means negative